going on everybody welcome back to another episode as you guys can tell i'm not on the ice right now we're gonna be shooting some stuff today i'm out with a good buddy his name is max you guys have seen him a couple times here before um it's very windy today so i apologize for the audio in advance um the audio on the gopros are kind of gonna suck but it's gonna be the only way to get good footage of this um we're out on a farm today and we're gonna try and shoot some pigeons there's pigeons everywhere as you guys know um, if you live in Wisconsin or anywhere in the Midwest, a lot of farms get raided by pigeons. I mean, these things are absolutely ev everywhere and the farmers don't like them because they poop everywhere. So today what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to eliminate some pigeons. Um, we've got big flocks of probably 50, you know, anywhere from 40 to 50 birds flying around and uh, we're going to see how many we can pop today. So we're going to have some fun. We got the shotguns along. Um, we're also going to be doing, you know, if we see any rabbits or anything like that, we got small game licenses. Um, rabbit is still in season right now, so if we see any rabbits, we might pop a couple of those too. So we're just going to have some fun today, finally shoot some stuff, and uh, show you guys how to hunt some pigeons here on Tidewee's YouTube channel today. So stay tuned, you're not going to want to miss this one. There's one in there. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> could have been a could have been a three for Oh, that's a big pigeon. Oh my goodness. Look at that pigeon, guys. Here's uh the second one that I shot. The first one that I shot's up here. Yeah, look at it. That one's like brown. That's a that's a cool looking pigeon. Well, that's two down and we just started. <laughs> look at all the pigeons up on the barn. Those are the pigeons we're trying to get right now. They were just down here. And uh, when we took those last shots over there, they actually all flew up onto the barn roof. So we're just kind of going to stand out here, probably hide behind this machine right here, and uh, wait for them to kind of fly up. When they fly up, they're going to come and pretty much sit right on the feet where, we were, where they were before before we shot. So we're kind of just going to post up here and wait for them to come off that roof. And when they fly down, we're going to pop them. So stay tuned. Yep, just like this. I'm waiting for him to do this. Pop that. I want that brown one. There's a white one. Pops one of these. They're all just floating right there. They're freaking whipping. Oh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at, all, look at them all up there. Look at this rabbit. Here comes though. one. <laughs> That's a nice big rabbit, dude. <laughs> that was a last second thinking. Yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah it was. <laughs> that was not what I expected to run out for me. I thought it was a cat. That's nuts. There's cats all over here. Here we go. Good, now we can eat some rabbit tonight. Turn around, Max. Oh. I don't want to pop them in the manure pit because then we won't get them. Oh my god, all right, we got to talk about what's going on right now because right now we're just shooting stuff and we don't really have a plan with what we're doing. <laughs> Max just smoked the giant rabbit. Um, you guys saw that on his GoPro footage. Basically what we're doing, we we're pinned up against this barn. We were waiting for all these birds to fly off the roof. While we were waiting, a rabbit popped out pretty much from right underneath his feet. And like I said earlier, if we saw any rabbits, we were going to pop them. And uh, we ended up getting that one. And then uh, also smoked, smoked another pigeon on that run too. So we got uh, three pigeons down for the count. That's three for three for me. I haven't missed yet. So that's, that's golden. But here all those birds are. Oh, that was a big old miss. We're going to come up. We're going to try and come up with a better idea here. Um, to get set up so I can record this a little better and then uh, we're gonna get back to shooting so stay tuned we're having fun so far that's a far shot Dead in that pasture, we'll grab them. All the pigeons we were kind of shooting at 
are really circling, they're circling really high. Actually, they're all up above. I don't know if you guys can see that on the GoPro or not, but they're a ways away. So I think what we're gonna do is when he gets back, um, kind of take another breather, figure out what we wanna do again. Um, we haven't really got that big group of flyovers yet. It's just been one here and there. So we're trying to come up with a good way to get that big flock over us right now. So I think once he gets back, we're gonna come up with a different plan and see what we can get going. But <laughs> I think we're, do we're doing all right so far. We popped, I think five pigeons and then we got that big rabbit. So <sighs> a lot of fun. Well, guys, we are back in the kitchen. Uh, we just got done shooting those pigeons, that rabbit you guys saw shoot, and we're gonna prepare them up. We're gonna eat them for you guys. So this is gonna be a clean and cook. You guys didn't get to see the cleaning part. We took the breasts out of them, and uh, that's what we're gonna be cooking up for you guys today. So we also cleaned up that rabbit. Uh, we got as much meat off of it as we could. Um, we're not. I've never cleaned a rabbit before, neither is Max. So we got as much meat off of that rabbit as we could, put it in a bag, and we actually marinated these guys. So it's a couple days after we shot those pigeons, um, these, Breasts have been marinating for about 24 hours in some teriyaki marinade, so not sure how it's gonna taste. I've actually personally never ate pigeon. Max has before. That's how we're gonna be preparing these birds today, so hopefully it's good. I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing, how we're cooking them, and then we're gonna get to eating, so stay tuned. You got some kosher salt, uh, some garlic powder. Big big garlic powder guy, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, we got some onion powder out here. Looks like we got some pepper as well. Uh, right now we're just gonna throw some butter in a pan. Basically how we're gonna do is we're gonna Pretty much saute these things in a pan if I'm pretty much. correct, huh? Pretty much. So pretty simple. You've had these things before, so how do they taste? Kinda tastes like duck. Tastes Morning like duck? Of. Morning of, of duck sure. mix, sort of. Leave a comment down below right now if you've ever had pigeon. I wanna know what you guys think, um, or how you guys prepare it yourselves. I know there's probably a ton of ways to do it. We might not be doing it the way you guys do it. So leave a comment down below. Let me know guys how you prepare it and uh, maybe next time we'll try that. Kind of just chunked the meat off the rabbit as best as we could. Um, some of the meat on the rabbit was kind of destroyed. Uh, we did shoot it with a 12 gauge, so we kept the, the meat that we could um, that wasn't bloodshot by any of the BBs or anything like that. And like I said, we just kind of threw it all in a teriyaki marinade. So we're gonna give it all a try and see what we think of it. But we got a decent amount of meat off that rabbit. I mean, that was a, that was a big rabbit that you got, dude. <laughs> that was a big rabbit. That was a big one, so. <laughs> I'm looking forward to trying that. I've never ate rabbit like straight on the pan like this or like straight off the bones, so this will be interesting. I've had it in like venison form or I should say summer sausage form, um, but I've never had it like off the bones, so this will be interesting. Have you ever had rabbit? No, not no? like this. Not like this. Well, this will be a first for both of us then. Yep. Well, hopefully it's good. A little salt, pepper, just some seasonings, just at random. Sure. Nothing, nothing special. Nothing special. If you haven't tried these bubbler things, they're awesome. I don't really know what it is. It's sparkling water with some energized stuff in it, but whatever it is, it's it's freaking good. Just go to the store, buy one, gas station, wherever it is. These bubbler things are, I don't know, there's some reason, like, magically delicious. Kind of like Lucky Charms. <laughs> Oh God, that's good. Pigeon going in, the good old gin. Yep. You guys can tell we got a little more pigeon than we had rabbit, so. All right. I think they're done, huh? I think so. We did uh, just pop a temp, you know, we popped the thermometer in here, just kind of check the temp on them. Um, I don't think we're really gonna catch any disease or anything from eating pigeon, but we had like 170 degrees on all of them So we figured they're pretty much done ready to go. Like I like I said, we've really never made them like this before So we just want to make sure that uh, we're doing it right and I'll tell you right now they smell tasty and they look tasty as well So oh you ready? Yeah, let's see what let's you're gonna see try what the rabbit first or the pigeon first. I'll try the rabbit first There's the rabbit One into it. You got to tell everybody your uh, initial thought as soon as you get it in there. Tastes like chicken. Chicken? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Straight up, huh? Pretty much. No Teriyaki chicken. Really? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Mm. You're right. It does taste like chicken. Yeah. Probably because we marinated the teriyaki sauce. Could be. It's not bad. It's a little cold from sitting in the microwave. I don't see there's nothing wrong with it though. 
Those taste like chicken. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's give the pigeon a shot. Grab a little piece here. This right right now, like just sticking the fork in it, feels a little more tender than the rabbit. So I'm, I'm guessing it's not going to be as chewy, but give her a go here once. Mm, a lot warmer. Oh my god, dude. Good. I'm gonna take the pigeon over the rabbit any day. <laughs> this is good. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, and I haven't had duck in a while, but I think it tastes a lot like duck. Pretty similar. I mean, you still get the little bit, like a little hint of gamey taste, um, but it's it's definitely, you can definitely tell it's marinated or has been marinated for like a couple, you know, 24 hours or whatever, but you still get that little bit of hint, like that kind of tastes like ducky, but it is so good. Um, it's pretty good. I, you gotta, you gotta give that a shot. Oh yeah, it tastes like duck. Yep. Just like duck. Like a hundred percent. Like it's the first thing it made me think of was mm -hmm. duck. It's good though, isn't a it? A lot better than that rabbit. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a lot better than that rabbit. Well guys, that is the consensus. Um, maybe we didn't prepare the rabbit like we're supposed to. Never had rabbit before, never made rabbit like this before. The pigeon was phenomenal. Um, after I put the camera down and finish up this video, I'm definitely gonna try some more pigeon um, and finish eating that up. But the rabbit I'm a little skeptical on. I think if we do the rabbit again, we're gonna have to come up with a different recipe. So if you guys wanna leave some comments down below and let us know what we did wrong with the rabbit um, or how we should make the rabbit or even the pigeon next time, um, leave some comments down below. Max and I are definitely gonna go back out to that farm and see if we can get that big group of pigeons um, a little closer um, and a little, a, cl a little closer to our range so we can obviously get some more on the ground next time so leave some like i said leave some comments down below we're going to be doing this again soon um and maybe we'll pick your comment and make that in the next video so once again guys thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please go down hit that subscribe button be sure to give us a thumbs up on this video if you want to see more videos like this in the future other than that i don't have much else to say i'm gonna finish eating up this pigeon and maybe try some more rabbit yet i don't know have a good one guys as always live your passion we'll see you on the next one Peace.